Hi, right, and welcome back to Working Yard with Will. So it's a few days later after the uh, sand leveling out here on the chipping green. As you can see, some of the sand still is present here as the green continues to fill in. Uh, don't worry, folks. I'm going to be working around that collar and everything once the weather cools off. So closer to the end of August, I'll get back out here and start aerating and throwing down seed and everything else around the collar. But for the most part, I think the chipping green is recovered for the most part, filling in pretty nicely here, even up here across the top, filling in nicely. So stay tuned. Got to continue to get this lower section to fill in, to grow in. We've had a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy rains here in the last few days. So stay tuned. Working your All right, folks, right back here. Uh, I pointed out real quickly that the sand was coming in. The sand was, was being was going away slowly as the rains were coming out and the grass was starting to fill in. And so uh, I decided to take an opportunity here to add a little bit more seed on this outside. And I did a little bit of uh, soil leveling this time. I uh, just do a little bit of uh, organic soil around the outside. Leaf grow, topsoil combination. Poke some holes in there with my tool. Handy dandy pitchfork here. Add some more sand in there and add some more seed. Took my uh, lawn leveling rake there and leveled things out a little bit more. So I imagine here in the next uh, two weeks or so, that should be nice and full all the way around the chipping green. We just have to address the areas up here on the left-hand side. So stay tuned, working your